Hello, everyone. I am out here in Colorado, 13 hours from home, including, you know, family and charging stops and all that. 758 miles as I look over here at my Cybertruck trip counter. And all of that was done on FSD. I think I drove less than two miles manually. And that was really just like pulling into parking spots. And I took over one time on the highway when the extremely high winds were blowing me into the shoulder on FSD, which was pretty uh, scary, I guess. But the semi truck in front of me almost blew off the road. FSD handled it better than a human would. So it was really impressive. FSD the whole way. And FSD continues to just be incredible, uh, especially on highways. It is such a cool thing to have. If you're road tripping, driving manually, you're doing it wrong. But here I am in Colorado, and I've got a software update. I can download an update. It says minor bug fixes, but it says I need to connect to Wi-Fi. And of course, so far from home, you know, most people don't have Wi-Fi to connect their vehicle to. But I have Starlink in the back, and I recently upgraded to the Starlink Roam plan from my residential plan where I can use Starlink anywhere right from the bed of the truck. And all I do is open the tonneau, which I can do from inside the cabin or the phone app, and then turn on the outlets because I have it plugged in back there, point it at the sky, it's ready to go, which is incredible. So right now, I'm going to download and install the update for my truck from my truck. It's going to power a Starlink, connect to satellites in space, download the update, and install it. Isn't that incredible? I mean, what a time to be alive. Imagine doing it any differently. This is the future, but it's, it's the present, right? It's stupid to say this is the future. But for most people, they have no idea that this is a present reality. And it's super cool. So I'm going to show you doing this. And if you want to get Starlink, use my link in the description. You can get a free month of Starlink. Starlink Residential is awesome. Starlink Roam is awesome. I think it's the perfect pair for cyber trucking, especially the Roam one where you can just drive around and use it anywhere. I'm looking to get a Starlink Mini in the future, but I'm just using the Starlink Residential dish or receiver, and it works really well. I've heard some people have even used it in motion with this Roam plan and it works, even though it's not really built to be used in motion. Apparently it can, I haven't tried it in motion yet. I'm here parked, but I'm gonna use it right now and download this software update and let's see how it works. So as we can see here, we've got a software update pending, but I'm on LTE. So I'm just gonna connect to Wi-Fi and we can see the Starlink in the back, which I'll show you. Here he is. Just sitting here nicely on a box. I got it strapped in. I entered the password, hit connect, and we're connecting. There it is, we're connected. And it shows that we're on Wi-Fi now, right there. So now I should be able to just hit this and the update is gonna download. Let's do a speed test just for fun in this random parking lot says we're connected to SpaceX Starlink. That is super fast for just being randomly parked in a parking lot. There's also a huge tree behind me that's probably blocking some of the signal. And I didn't even orient the dish at all. Like it's just sitting there in the orientation that I parked. I did nothing except for open the tonneau and plug it in. So 100 megabits per second on this random hill in not even perfect conditions. So really impressive there. Okay, so it looks like it just quietly downloaded the software update when I was off the screen. Oh, there it is right there. By the way, here's the tree I was talking about. Huge tree back behind here, kind of pointed right at it. And if you didn't see, I also have the uh, router right down in here in unfavorable conditions. So even if this were set up a little better, probably be getting a stronger signal than just randomly under some junk. But there it is, my tripod and my coat back here. 
So now we are downloaded and ready. I'm gonna just say install now. And did you know that you can actually tap this to get it to start immediately? There you go. Fun little tip. And here we go, we're updating to 2025.2.9. And since it's already downloaded, it can just install without internet connection. So even if the truck restarts its software, I don't know if the outlets will go off. I think they might just stay on even when you're doing a software update because this should just be restarting the computer. So there you have it, installing the software update that we downloaded basically in real time. Like while I was running the camera, it downloaded the whole software update from the Starlink in the back, installing it right here. So I'm gonna be driving the latest and greatest version of the software for the Cybertruck while away from home, while away from my standard you know, garage internet connection, which is really, really cool. And only Starlink can let me do this. I mean, what's the alternative, like pull up really close to a building and connect to free Wi-Fi, like that's sketchy. It's really nice to have the internet independence on the go in the Cybertruck. Like I could literally get stranded somewhere with no cellular connectivity, be in a complete bind. And I have high speed internet from space from the same guy that made the truck, by the way, which is just unreal, right? I mean, it's so badass. Um, I, I really, really like the combo of Tesla Cybertruck with Starlink. It's like, it's the perfect match. It's really cool. But also, even with this Rome plan, I can stick it on my roof. I have a mount permanently up on the roof of my house and I can use it for home backup too. So it's super versatile, the Rome plan. The residential plan is great if you just wanna have it for home backup or for your main home service. I did a full video on Starlink for residential, including connecting it to a wired backhaul home mesh network, which is really interesting. I think a really nice setup, but You've got, you know, you've got the residential piece, and then you have this Roam piece, and the Roam Unlimited really gives you the best of both worlds, where you can use it literally anywhere. And so again, if you want Starlink, use my link in the description. It gives you a free month of service, and it gives me a free month of service too. So thanks. So thanks for watching. I'm going to be driving or riding, sitting here, watching the truck drive itself all the way back home tomorrow. 750 miles again and then i'll be back i got more videos in the pipeline coming for you guys soon including a very special one on the new model y my neighbor took delivery of the first model y in tulsa oklahoma maybe the very first one in oklahoma period but the service center told him it was the first one in tulsa and he's going to let me show it to you guys so i'm looking forward to doing that very soon Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future. And also follow me over on X. I always have a lot of fun posting over there. I post quite a lot on X. And I cross post some things to the YouTube post, but not everything by any means. So I'd love to uh, connect with you over there. It's always a fun place to hang out and talk about ideas and share our thoughts in the only free speech platform on the internet, which is really nice. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.